the concept of not being the first choice and who women marry. It says, I fell in love with a boy once, unrequited. I was so shy. His family owned a cafe. I would go to most Saturdays to eat blueberry corn cakes and yearn. Friends would accompany me and encourage me to talk to him. I never did. But every Saturday, I make this breakfast for my kids. You're her husband or her ex-husband. And you read that and you realize you got beaten out by a guy that she hadn't even probably even kissed. She got alpha widowed by a guy that she didn't even talk to. Yeah. And it's like you lost out to that. So you're not even second or third choice. One of the first bookmarks that I have over here is uh, the concept of not being the first choice and who women marry. So this is an interesting one that that, that popped up in um, my feed. I don't know who this uh, Rugal is. It doesn't look like it's a popular account or anything, but it's, it's verified. But it says, I fell in love with a boy once unrequited. I was so shy. His family owned a cafe. I would go to most Saturdays to eat blueberry corn cakes and yearn. Friends would accompany me and encourage me to talk to him. I never did. But every Saturday I make this breakfast for my kids. And she has a photograph here of blueberry corn cakes, I'm assuming. Um, I think there was a follow up. The whole thread. Yeah. Posted in this whole thread, but something where, where is she? There was another follow-up that was attached to this. Oh, hang on. It's over here. Just go click on that. Yeah. There we go. Um, so I'm guessing this is her over here. It says, this was taken shortly after brunch at this cafe. Uh, the tragedy of the unrequited part is that he was interested in me, but I was just shy. The first time we encountered each other, we stood feet apart on an otherwise empty deck. He followed me out, not speaking until, you know, like imagine, oh, she goes on and on, eh? Um, oh, yeah. We had mutual friends and we were friends on social media, yet, LOL, I moved away, lost track of him much later. After almost two years single, I Googled him when I was ready for love, found my now ex-husband's blog instead. They have the same name and now here we are. Anyway, feeling nostalgic for the sweetness of that time. I was in love with him for years from afar, held everyone else I met to the standard he set for a man, which is why I dated so few. I think my marriage was cursed from the beginning because of the name. There's only one S. I never looked him up. There's no way he isn't happily married with a family somewhere in California. He might not even remember me at this point. This was 17 years ago. But think of the romance. Like this chick pined for the guy for 17 years, married a man with the same name um, and made the food that she went to the cafe with her family as a child for her own kids. Like women rarely marry their first choice, guys. You know, I've said this before. You want women, you want to, you want a woman that chooses you, like choose women that choose you, right? It should be obvious. It should be clear. She shouldn't say, Hey, let's get married. I want kids. She should say, I can't live without you. I want your children, right? Those are two very distinct things. You want to be very, very certain that you're dealing with a gal that is, that is about you, not just about, um, you know, a ceremony or a party or whatever it happens to be. Be very careful. guys. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this stuff also pops up. I mean, obviously, ex-husband, no surprise there, divorced. This pops up all the time, though. Every now and then I'll see a, a – and I don't get on Reddit, but I have some stuff sent to me every now and then, or people just love to take screenshots and post them on Twitter and things like that. But, you know, every now and then it'll come up with one. It's like my wife named our child after her boyfriend back in college that I didn't know about, and now he's five. And now every time I hear his name, I'm reminded of her ex-boyfriend or her first love. And it's like – Titanic, you know, the movie Titanic is widely regarded by many, many women as the perfect love story or and women just swoon over this movie. And it's here's an 80 year old woman, a woman who had a bunch of kids who got married, had a very successful family. And the whole movie is how about she met a homeless dude on a boat one time. They banged each other's brains out and she never stopped thinking about him. Right. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> that. That's what it is. That's your competition, man. A smelly, like 19 year old dude on a cruise ship. So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, this is why I mean, most likely and this is why, you know, we are often especially for guys that are looking for wife stock, mother stock. Mar you know, going for younger women that have not been impressed upon by other men um, who don't have a large notch count or large dating history, you know, that stuff is it's it, people, women, especially women and, and men that don't get laid will shame you and say, uh, you know, it's manipulation or you want to turn her into a robot or whatever it is, or she won't challenge you. It's more about, you know, I, 
if I'm not that guy, then I'm not interested. You know, if I'm always going to be competing with the memory of some other guy, then, you know, there's no reason for you to get involved with a chick like that. Cause then this, this stuff like this will happen. She's clearly never let go of that. She's made now she's, and people are just, Oh, it's like a nice, happy memory. It's like, no, like she, you know, you talk about this in the red flags, it's keeping men from her past around. It's not just about male friends and exes and things like that. It's even alpha widows and even the memories of guys she would rather be with than you. So you got to do your due diligence, man. It sounded like she was a young woman, maybe a teen, maybe even a, a girl at the time when they went to the cafe. Imagine you're her husband or her ex-husband and you read that and you realize you got beaten out by a guy that she hadn't even probably even kissed. She didn't even <laughs> talk to him, sounded like. She got alpha widowed by a guy that she didn't even talk to. Yeah. And it's like you lost out to that. So you're not even second or third choice. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that clip. If you want to check out the full length podcast episode, you can find that right over here. Also, make sure you visit my website over here where you'll find my supplements, the opportunity to book me privately one on one for coaching. And most importantly, my new school of unplugging, which you'll find on the courses tab. Newer to the channel, hit subscribe.